There's an easy part of graphics journalism and there's a hard part. The hard part is finding the data that you want to use, the data that's relevant to the story that you're trying to produce, understanding that data, making sure that data is complete, and then understanding what form that data should be put in. The easy part is actually creating the charts. We're going to use something called Google Spreadsheets. It has a very good charting function on it, uh, very much like uh, Microsoft Excel. Uh, the main advantage of Google is that it's free, it's available, and it will create an interactive uh, chart for you to put on your website, which is pretty cool. So let's get started with our first chart here. First one we're going to do is a uh, bar chart and you see that we have some data here. This, these data come from the U.S. Department of Education and it shows the number of uh, students enrolled in private schools uh, for uh, each year uh, at two-year intervals between 1995 and 2010. Um, the numbers that are on this uh, uh, spreadsheet uh, actually are you know, represent thousands of students. So under um, first column under Catholic, it's 618. That's actually 618,000 students. And so we need to remember that and make sure that we include that fact in uh, our chart. Uh, making the chart, uh, once I've got this data and once I've decided what it is that I'm going to do with it, is very, very easy. I want to put this data into a bar chart, into actually into a column chart, uh, which is a bar chart where the uh, bars actually run vertically. Uh, and because I want, to, I want us to be able to easily compare this data from run, one year to the next uh, and within the data, uh, within each year to compare that. So in order to do that, it's this simple. You simply select all of the uh, data that you have here. You go up to the charting function and you click on that and that brings up this little window with what they call the chart editor. Um, I see right here the column chart, uh, which is the type that I want to use, and immediately this gives me a kind of a preview of what this chart is going to look like. Now, what I have decided is that instead of having three columns for each year, what I'm going to do is have just one column, and it's going to be something called a stack column chart. So I'm going to go over to where it says charts here, and I see the icon for the stack column chart, and I click on it, and it gives me that. And it is pretty much that simple. Now once we go this far, we can begin to customize just a bit, and we need to because this chart doesn't have a title. So right now, I'm going to give it a title. So I get my title done there, and you see it pops up as soon as get finished typing it. Um, this thing called the legend right here um, is, um, tells us what each of these colors represent, but I really want to do something a little bit different. It defaults to being on the right side of the chart. Uh, I want to put it on the top of the chart there, so uh, it's a little bit more prominent there. Uh, there's some other things that I can do at this point, um, but I want to show you a couple of other things. Once I hit insert, then the chart itself is created on the spreadsheet. Uh, I'm going to move it down just a bit so we can uh, see.
see things. Um, I'm gonna push it in. That gets that in the thousands in the title down on the second line there. One other thing that we can do uh, here, we can do all sorts of things. We can edit at this point. You see this little edit mode that it has here. But I've decided that maybe the orange and the red don't give us enough contrast. Um, and they're too, the colors are too close together. So. What I'm going to do is click on this, and it's going to select all of those orange pieces of the chart, and I'm going to substitute a different color in here, and I'm going to make it green, just so that we can see all of those charts. And you can see from the chart right off um, that uh, enrollment in private schools uh, grades 9 through 12 went up every year from 1995 to 2007 and then it dropped off in that last year that's on our chart. Uh, you can also see that Catholic school enrollment stayed pretty much the same and the difference uh, in each year amounted to uh, the non-Catholic uh, religious schools or uh, the non-religious uh, schools at all. Now, I noticed that this part of the legend, religious, uh, non-sectarian, is not showing here, um, but one thing I can do is put it on a, um, uh, a its own spreadsheet, and if I do that, uh, then it's likely to show up. A little bit better way. <clears throat> One final thing that we need to do is take a look at how you publish this chart. Now, um, you see that this little tab called Publish Chart is right here. Here's what happens when I click on that. It will give me the HTML for uh, this chart. And all I have to do is select all of that, copy it, and then paste that HTML you know, onto my website page there. And that's it. That's all we have to do to create that particular chart. So you can see from this short demonstration that using Google Charts or using Excel, which is very much like Google to create a chart is really a very simple process, one that uh, you can easily master. The hard thing is getting the data, working out what that data means, uh, and selecting the correct kind of uh, chart to use uh, to present that data.